and we're live. Don't be don't be a douche. That's a podcast on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you come up with that name? Because I'm when, my, when I'm with my real life friends all the time. My real life. Tell so yeah. yeah. Why do you in real life? What, what's what, what's not real about this life? All right, well, don't, don't be an idiot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not being an idiot. I don't. Oh, okay. me all the time. No, is right. Conglomeration of friends. You're when being, you're being friends, discriminatory say, against people who have online friends. Time planes gets it. Thanks, bro. Friends. I have six six six. I mean, the fact is, is my online friends, friends I can consider my real like friends too. Exactly. Something up. Are we friends? Lefty, are we? Toe for Grace. Six six seven. That's like you. two thirds. But the rest of you, Kyle, I'm friends with. Kyle didn't even hear. I mean, you kissing Kyle? He's not even here for a while. But I like when I'm with my real friends in real life. My login never works. That's funny. Like, Thank you for the Twitch friends. Prime, baby. I, if they do something douchey, I'll just say, don't be a douche. I appreciate it. I don't know why that always closes my mouth. I think is a, a douche. She's a friendist. Anything like that. And so I just made that my podcast because I generally say that a lot. Merka Durka X Capone at YouTube.com. You'll never see him play with anybody online because he has real friends. You're saying that like it's supposed to be derogatory. <laughs> See, now you're being online friendist again. Yeah. Friendist. Oh. Yes. What are you coming up with new terms? I, I, just, don't, I just don't like that. I, no, oh, I, so the people on. What do you have to ask? Why didn't you stop Taylor here? I don't think I understand. While in during the show, like socially, or I really don't get it. Pirate Bay, like, um, I forget there was a trial or something, and they mentioned in real life. There was. And uh, they said, no, actually, we object to that term, you know. Why didn't I stop him from going crazy? <sighs> Guys. You act like I would interrupt. Never. Our online life is part of our real life, and to minimize it or put it down is not proper. And I thought, huh. And I, I like my online friends. People... I've heard this before, but like, if your friends are online friends, the only thing that matters is the tone of their voice and what's in their heart, right? But in real life, you know, there's like yeah. body types, there's age, there's income, there's like all sorts of things that kind of play into complicating your friendship. Income plays into a factor of who you be a friend. Yeah. In, in real life, weird. yeah, because yeah. some people can't do the things you want to do, right? Like, you know, mm -hmm. some people want to go yachting, some people want to, you know, they have activities that are too expensive, and and. uh you know, if a guy's broke, then that sort of holds you back to some extent. But uh, well, you still be his friend, just not do that activity with him. But if we're talking about real friends, real. I honestly think of Woody as one of my real friends, like a real friend. It's too late now, and he's friend. Fucking, he's, fucking, <laughs> he's, he's almost sixty-nine years old, <laughs> and yet we still maintain this friendship. <laughs> And so we've talked enough. To he's know still that. coherent. He's still like, lucid. Uh, <laughs> Kyle knows where he is. Council Kyle hasn't with. got him yet. I text <laughs> Kyle and talk to him all the time. Lefty, you and I aren't there yet. You goddamn racist. But still, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's touched me like Thank you, Clip Satan. Because I've been on this podcast enough to talk to Wings and be connected with him yeah, enough to know that. Yeah, my friends was like the first week. Why'd you kick him off your yeah, friends I, list? What did, did he go negative one time? Did he snipe? He was Modern Warfare 2. It was, it was the map with the tank and the apartment buildings. I forgot. No, it, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I remember when it was. It was High Rise. I, I no, know exactly when you kicked me off your friends list. Oh. What was it? Tell we us. were playing on High Rise. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking back. I remember High Rise. Keep going. We were you playing on High Rise. We had him trapped Woody inside. And, you and Woody and Kyle, we were all on the same team, mm -hmm. and I wanted to get as many kills as possible. One minute left like, for the scam train, boys. My chopper gunner, and so instead of just standing outside and firing down the hallway, I got up and ran in there and tried to kill two more. And then Woody, of all people, because Woody has that like mildly scary like dad voice <laughs> like oh who did this and I, the, instead of just feeling like scared for like oh shit it's like oh am i in trouble like, <laughs> <laughs> and, like, 
So I did that, got my chopper gunner, and then I ran Level back three. Down. Thanks, boys. And Kyle was the chillest and just being like, ah, oh, damn. And then Wings <laughs> goes, this is bullshit. This is bullshit. We had them chopped. We had them. We had them completely back in their spawn. This is bullshit. And they just left. Just, just, uh, and limited UAV just left the game. You flipped the spawn. Yes, I flipped the spawn. And Wings was yelling that. Thank you, Colin. And then eventually, I think that... You, me, and Kyle. I, I, this doesn't sound right at all. This is, I have never known Woody. Woody I've never seen this. Woody leave a game ever. Uh, it's real. I bet I've been playing COD probably five days a week since COD 4, and I bet I've quit like 25 games. I've never played with you where you left a game. Yeah. Super never. rare. And, and, but we're going back to like 2007 here. Like I, yeah, we're going yeah. back to like when we first met. Where... It, it, like all the way to COD 4, even before I met you, I've quit maybe like 25 yeah. games. Like I don't even. It's not very much. I'm going to look up that video. So I've already quit live streams. But... <laughs> Thank you for the subs and the biddies, boys. I appreciate that. But um, that doesn't sound like me at all, Merck. I think you get it all wrong. Because like me, I would have lectured you. I'd What's be like... the map with the apartments in the tank in Modern Warfare 2? <laughs> I don't know. I was is it to think. is it a, a DLC Overgrown? map? It's a DLC map. Yeah, I, I know it now. I know it, and, and it's really a. There's a street down the middle of it, and it's very not level. It's tilted. There's an incline. Yeah. And, uh, and the, there's an apartment building next to the pool that people like to camp in. Yeah, I think it was like Red Room or something, right? Like it, no, was, yeah. it, was it a white? It, no, no, no. Red Room was in Strike, wasn't it? Skybox is in Strike. Strike. That yeah. map. Pack what was the name of that? What map is it, guys? Uh, but more complex. complex. Are you, is it you talking about the room above the statue? We always called that skybox. Oh, all right, yeah. But I, I mean, mind. everyone has their own callouts. I remember Bail I used out. to think that Bail the callouts out. were like official. Like this was <laughs> the name that must be used for this callout. And I'd get like the strategy guide, and I'd be like, "The guy's in top control room." And everyone's like, "Huh?" <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm right. I saw it in a strategy guide. I know the official callouts. Bail out. The way I judged it was. I would play with Onslaught, and any time that he didn't recognize what I was saying or told me to do something, I would just be like, "You guys what, are what, right." Onslaught, what do I do? Where do I go? Where, where, where from here? Yeah. But he, he is. That's it. He you guys baby. nailed it. I'm awesome. Just aimed outside. He's got, a, he's got a nice baby. I wonder if I can get a picture of his baby for the show. I think he put one on his channel, didn't he? Uh, he texted me one, so I'm. Onslaught's a it. good man. I. I'm emotionally richer for having hung out with him for a couple years. Onslaught's a super good guy. Onslaught was an incredible player. Yeah, Modern Warfare 2, but like as the games went on, he kind of faded out. He's an out. architect. Each architect, yeah, I think he has two kids. Ones. I found the video, Introducing Mercadurka, uploaded on May 8th, 2000. Onslaught made hundreds of videos, met everyone in the COD community, and no one has ever said anything bad about him ever. What do you got the sexiest ever is one of the top comments on that <laughs> no, i covered his uh last name because i don't know if everybody knows it but that's onslaught's baby it's a boy his name is jackson and he's awesome oh yeah i remember him saying it was it was jackson yeah I, honestly i can't i'm still trying to think of that damn map i used <laughs> to get pissed off when people can't remember maps and i can't remember this one you know we need we need kyle to corroborate this story about wings kicking murka or wings rage quitting oh. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's... No, he didn't kick me. He rage quit. Yeah, as no. I'm sorry, I, I E4 Mafia. I don't know about that. Like are you already like, subbed? Let me give you a fucking lesson. You are already I subbed. I probably called you X Capone back then because I didn't know you grew up. But like, X Capone. Well, you called Let me, me give you a goddamn lecture. You see, you did not you see how everybody was chatting in that hallway? Down and say, Let me give no, you a lecture. No, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He'd just curse. Motherfucker! What do you tell me what he would say? He'd be like, you motherfucker! Yes, you... yes, something like that. <laughs> God damn it! And, and then, and then it would just you'd, you'd look at the kill feed and it would say oh, <laughs> UAV left the game. Yeah, I'm a master rage quitter. People people compliment me all the time on my life. Dude, thing. you know who's a good uh, white boy can rage quit? White boy used hey, to he's run. Way better than me because he, he got used like to 15, run. Losses. Listen to Listen, this. He'd run second chance, and if he got shot, he could rage quit faster than they'd get that last bullet in. You know, is that moment of invincibility where you can't die as you fall into second chance? White boy could quit during that fall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
<laughs> no, he did it. And he even uploaded a video of himself demonstrating how good a rage quitter he was. That's some hardcore rage quitting. That's <laughs> a, yeah, because you, you know, like during the fall, you're invincible. Mm-hmm. So during that fall, he would. I don't even know what the button comes. Now I'm repeating a story from down, down. 300, 400 so PKAs is, ago. Yeah, start up A, I think. Okay. I used to be. I used to be pretty f- proficient <laughs> in rage quitting myself. And I mean, if you couldn't tell, it's start up A at least. So, on, uh, well, he's PS3, but it, whatever the equivalent is. Start up A, up A. Yeah. During that period of invincibility, while he dropped, he could he could execute a rage quit, and the other guy would not get the kill. That's. Nice. That's legit rage quitting right there. See, I don't hate on people for rage quitting, or you know. I don't like what, the what's the other thing? Uh, uh, lobby. The, I, surfing. I Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah, lobby surfing. Of course. I don't, I, do I don't that. want to find bad people to poop on. I don't do <laughs> is that. that. Big deal. Why is I, that such a big deal? I play all covers. Sometimes if I play and I see like a party of six join. No, even then I I'll give it a go. I love beating party. I do love it all the mm-hmm. time, but. It, you know, if I can get a win off against the whole party, that's that I enjoy that. The old COD was cool because I often played with good players, so I won a lot, right? Like it was me, Onslaught, T Mart, you know, like we play all the time. Um and uh people would talk shit. You know how Call of Duty lobbies are, they go mad with talk. And we always won. Like even I was pretty good, but these guys were gods of the game. And um in the new COD after you win, they find a whole new batch of players to match you with. In the old COD, you'd play again and again and again. And they would have to admit defeat. They would have to admit that they didn't want to lose to us again on their way out. It was great. 